Welcome. Today we're going to look at what are we going to look at? Blink Shell. And we're going to look at transferring files with Blink Shell uh, to, from your server down to my local device. I needed to do this last week when I built a plugin and I want to offer uh, at least the code of it, the basic functionality off to another plugin that I had to extend because uh, maybe they'll add that into their thing. So let's do it. Okay, so to get started, I have already logged into a server and I have already used CD change directory to get where I need to go to. Now, one of the issues with uh, SCP in uh, Blink is that it doesn't do recursive. So what we need to do is we need to zip up any folder we want. Now, the default Ubuntu image that WordPress comes with, if you use like their pre-installed, here's a WordPress thing, doesn't come with zip installed. So we'll need to do that first if you don't have it. And that is... Oh, app install zip now i already have this so i'm not going to do it um, but that's what you would need to do if you want to do that so i have a listing of plugins here and let's use better search replace so we'll do that and we're going to go zip now this is always gets me here because it's actually flipped its destination then source and we will recursive and the destination is going to be better search replace dot zip and now the folder that we want to take it from is better and we can hit tab to get tab completion and this is going to give us a zip file so we'll hit enter and it added it all so i'll clear and list and you can see i have better search replace dot zip perfect so i'm going to leave this so go pwd it's gonna give me the path and i'm going to switch over to the other side now we're in SCP. That's what we need to do here. And what we want to do is we want to grab our file full, our file, and zip it down. Zip it. <laughs> Use SCP to copy it. Now, so for that, I'm going to go SCP and use no flags. And one of the great things is uh, about Blink is that it knows my connection. So Coco West staging is the full connection. It's the IP. It's everything to get into that server that I was just logged into. I'm still logged into, in fact. I'm going to go colon, and then we're going to go, and go is var uh, www.html wp content plugins dash better search place.zip, and I'm going to make it into better search place. Oh, dot zip. And that's it. I'm just going to hit enter now. Perfect. If I list. Now, one thing I didn't do here, because I'd already done that, let's log out of this server. Now, usually you'd go SSH, and I go Coco. This is going to log me into the server. That's fine. SSH is fine. But what this does in Blink Shell is that, let me, I'm looking at my notes here. It gets me the ED, ESDSA key, and it adds that to Blink Shell. But what it doesn't add is the RSA key. Now, SCP does not recognize the ESDSA key. So let me log out. So if you haven't gone SSH to, and then whatever server you're gonna log into, this is now adding the RSA key, which SCP does recognize. So if you're going to use SCP to pull content down from an outside server, you must use SSH2 first to log into that server and add the RSA key to Blink, or else it's not going to work. That's a roundabout way. There are links in the show notes to like the bug report on this. There's a link in the show notes to using uh, Blink to copy up to EC2. Um, this is one of the things that I found as I was looking around for this. And if I go to files now, files, we can actually see. I better have the old better search replace here. Oh, it's already doesn't exist. How do I refresh this then? So this is on my iPad. Um, and if I tap it, it's going to unzip. Get in there. Yep. Yeah. You can see that I have my file. Perfect. Now the other place you have is there's actually iCloud Drive and Blink. And you can see that. That's that funny iCloud question mark thing. Um, so if I go log out clear 
and list, you can see I have iCloud in there and I could actually like MV better search replace dot zip. And I could go to iCloud. I think I can just move that in there. I've never actually tried this part. So this is like live. Does that actually work? It does. So there you go. I moved it in and it's unzipped. Perfect. So if you wanted to store it in your iCloud directory, you can just do that. I can swipe and remove, swipe and remove. And there's actually, I read somewhere, and I didn't look this up for this tutorial, that you can um, even link other folders that are in iCloud into this. So you can like, like copy something directly to a file path deep inside iCloud if you want. That's it today. That's how we transfer files with Blink Shell down to, uh, down to Blink Shell from a remote server. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have other things you want me to look at, more Vim, more Tmux, I'm kind of thinking about doing some more Vim stuff um, and some more Tmux stuff, some other things on using the iPad, let me know what it is. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, you can make sure you don't miss any by subscribing below. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notifications if you like notifications. Although I gotta be honest, I hate them. If you'd like to support the channel, like to make sure that the videos keep coming, that the content keeps coming, you can support me on patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Have an awesome day.